my tutorial skipped over again. Sorry about that. So I'm going to change my skin to this door. Hit apply. Alright. You can change your skin to whatever you want, obviously. Now, let's keep going on down. And we'll uh, zoom in here so you can see. Your slave name. Now, if you have double doors, uh, you can make two doors facing each other. You can have a slave name. If you give the door a name, say you call this door one and the other one door two, door one would be a slave of door two and door two would be a slave of door one. So whatever one the player opens, both of them will open at the same time. That's how you get double doors to open appropriately. Hardware type is the doorknob that will appear on the door when we spawn it up in game. Lever, push bar, or keypad. Uh, keypad obviously won't spawn on the door and I don't think the push bar, well the keypad might. The push bar doesn't spawn on certain doors I've noticed so it might uh, work on this door. I can't remember if it does. And then you have uh, a jar positions. If you want the door to spawn a jar like as if someone kind of barely left it open a crack, you can use this little dial to choose what kind of angle you want your door to be open to a jar. Uh, spawn position this is the same thing as the spawn flags. Uh, you can use it open forward, open back, uh, a jar, or use a jar angles if you selected a jar angles. Uh, we're just going to leave ours closed. Hinge access. Um, you'll notice that on prop rotating models, you see this little dot here? This is your point of origin. If I move that, that's where the door is going to rotate from. You don't want to do that. You want to leave it right here. This would be your hinge access, or the point at which your door will rotate. Um, if you're not seeing the little blue ball, which is the symbol of an entity, kind of, but that's the point of origin for an entity, you turn off the uh, helpers up here in the corner, and the little blue ball goes away, and you can't see the point of origin anymore. I don't know why you'd want to do that, because you want to keep it on. It's rather helpful. If you ever grab this and move it by accident, just control uh, Z it, and it will go back to normal or you can actually right click on it and um, scroll down and click center origins and it will move it to uh... it'll move this to the very center which won't help you with the door but some of them uh, a lot of them spawn in the center So, alright our next door uh, as soon as we finish this we're going to do a um, regular door which will slide open and close and then we'll do a, uh, a special a, a brush entity rotating door which is similar to this except a little cheaper um, harder to make actually and a little cheesier alright so we have our hinge access uh, rotation distance 90 degrees obviously you can make it open more if you want speed at which it opens you can have select your um, fully open fully closed sound moving sound all the different sounds for it uh, health if you want to set it to a breakable so it'll break after so many hits uh, damage inflicted when blocked. In other words, if you stand in front of the door and it's trying to close, will you be hurt? Uh, delay for closing. If it's at the date negative one, the door will never close, but you can type in a uh, number of seconds after it's opened that you want it to close itself, if you want it to close itself. Lock sound, unlock sound. Uh, force closed means that anything in its way, it, it's not going to stop. It's going to, it's going to freaking close. So if you're in front of it, it's going to crush you. Um, open direction. Obviously, both directions. You could have it open forward or backward only. If it's if it's clipping with one of your props or something, you could probably select that. We already reviewed our spawn flags. Make sure use closes. Uh, you don't want to ignore player use unless it's going to be tied to a button somehow specifically. Um, so we can just hit apply, and that's good for the time being. We'll go over inputs and outputs once we get the rest of our doors uh, set up. All right, so let's take a, uh, I'm just going to take a wall actually, instead of creating a new brush. Why? Because I'm lazy. I'm going to drag it, clone it. Alright, now it's lined up. And I'm going to shrink it down to size. Leave it about uh, four units across there. I'm going to make it one of the players about I want to say like 40 units wide or something like that so I'm just gonna leave this at like 60 units uh, wide or 65 will probably